Hello everyone, I'm Hannah Shaw and I'm an author and an illustrator. I make picture books and chapter books. This is my latest book, which is the first in a series about a unicorn pig called Unipiggle. This story is called Unicorn Muddle and there are more books coming. The stories are set in a magical kingdom called Twinkle Land and there are all sorts of magical creatures and characters. In each video, I'm going to show you how to draw some of these magical characters. This video shows you how to draw Unipiggle himself and a magical but rather snooty unicorn. For this draw along, you will need a drawing pencil, a drawing pen in black. You will also need A4 paper or you can print off the drawing guide. For your colours, you can use pens, pencils, pastels or paint. And you'll need an eraser. Remember, you can pause and rewind the video at any time if you make a mistake or I'm going too fast. Are you ready? Get set, get ready to draw! This is what you want your final image to look like. But first of all, you'll need to do a drawing guide to make sure you get everything in the right place. You can either draw the drawing guide yourself or you can download it and print it out. If you're doing it yourself, you need to get your paper, turn it landscape and press very lightly with your pencil. I'm doing a jelly bean shape for the unicorn's body, two circles for the head and nose and four smaller circles underneath for the knee joints. Now we're going to add some ears, triangles and join the nose and the head circle together to make the face and the head to the jelly bean make the neck and then the top of the legs here, four of those and then you can add the bottom of the legs the last one and add triangle shapes for the hooves then you can think about adding the horn and the mane and the tail. Then on the left hand side we're going to draw Unipiggle so we need an oval for the body, overlapping a circle for the head, another oval in front of the circle for his nose, triangles for the legs, four of those. Then you can join the head to the body and the nose and you can add some ear shapes. Now you can add the horn and a curly tail. And there you have your drawing guide. Those who have printed off the drawing guide can now also start drawing. So make sure you've got a black pen ready to do the line. It would be good if you had a nice black drawing pen to do this bit. It will really stand out. You're adding all the details to the drawing. You don't need to go over all the lines, so watch carefully. Here we go, here are the legs. Feathering around the hooves. Make sure you know which leg is in front and which leg is behind. This leg is behind. And this leg is in front. I'm not doing the mane and tail at the moment because I'm going to do those in a different colour. However, I'm going to draw the unicorn with a rather snooty expression on his face. Now I'm going to add detail to Unipiggle, so I'm drawing his snout and his horn, his face and his ears. And on the ends of his feet, his trotters, I'm drawing little W shapes, as you can see. Here's his curly tail. And I'm going to give him a really happy expression. Here's his eyes and a toothy grin. And his nostrils. There's a few more detail on the unicorn there. So I'm choosing a purple colour for this unicorn's mane. And the tail. OK, 
Okay, now I'm going to rub out that line I did in pencil, the drawing guide line, and I can add a few more details to the unicorn. And now I can start thinking about adding some colour. So I've chosen blue and purple. I've speeded this up a little bit to show you. I'm adding shading. You can use paints, pencils, watercolours, pastels, felt tips, anything that takes your fancy. Even glitter if you like. I'm doing some highlights now. I'm adding stars on the unicorn's bottom. Then I'm going to move on to Unipiggle. Adding shading and highlights. And of course some very big mud splats because Unipiggle loves jumping in puddles. Oh and some stinky bits to him as well. Now both of my characters are floating in space, so I need to add some ground, maybe some mud or some grass. So this is my final image. I really can't wait to see yours. Please do send them to me on Twitter and Instagram. Well done everyone. There are more activities on my website and the Usborne website. See you next time, where I'll be showing you how to draw a marshmallow munching dragon. Bye bye.